patient's families are critical to their well-being and to a well-functioning healthcare system, especially when serving individuals suffering with chronic serious mental illnesses. The privacy laws like HIPAA intended to protect patients more often than not are misinterpreted and misapplied in Arizona and marginalize and hinder families' inclusion in their loved one's treatment and care. I've learned a lot about the challenges families face when caring for their loved ones in these situations. And what I found most alarming is how the state so often makes a tough situation even worse. My name is Deborah Giesling and I have four adult sons. Our third son has a serious mental illness and about eight years ago we were thrust into a system of care that we had no idea uh, what to expect. We, we had preconceived notions about what serious mental illness was and nothing could prepare us for watching our son develop a, a serious mental illness with psychotic features. So one of the barriers that we initially um, came, encountered was the HIPAA barrier, which is, we, we call it, advocates call that the HIPAA handcuffs, and providers hide behind the federal HIPAA law, and they do not um, try to ascertain information from the family members, especially after someone has a psychotic break or they're brought into the hospital, uh, if they're over the age of 18. The reason why communicating with the family members of a loved one who has a serious mental illness is so vital is because the hospital needs to have the background information. And most of the time, the hospital is releasing that individual back to the family, back to the caregiver or the guardian, who are, who are in no way equipped to care for somebody with such a significant need. And so Senator Bartow took on that challenge and she compared what our what our statute was with our federal law and we found out that we weren't even we weren't even up to federal standards frankly tells caregivers that they have an opportunity and a responsibility to treat patient properly and appropriately and to take information from family members senator barto is a champion on behalf of people that have serious mental illness I am forever grateful for her work that she has done and, and championed on behalf of this population. She continues to meet with family members, look at solutions, and, and look at what are the bottlenecks? What are, what are the things that are causing people with serious mental illness to be in the hospital over and over again, to be in jails, to be on our streets? And she's not giving up. She is tenacious. Rewriting Arizona's HIPAA law to mirror the federal law's intent wasn't easy, but retraining physicians to welcome parents into the treatment and care of their grown children when they lack capacity and it is in their best interest is definitely worth the effort. There's much more work in progress. Learn more at nancybarto.com and thank you for your support.